We're about to spin a web any size. Hey everybody, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new to the channel, uh, give us a subscribe. We are a charcuterie board of content, blah, blah, blah. Give us a like, thwip the like button. Let's talk some Spider-Man 4, Homecoming 4, whatever Marvel decides to call it. Tom Holland is uh, kind of on the fence now about returning. He said the script, you know, they liked, he liked the direction they were going. But, of course, the writer's strike has kind of put a halt to everything in Hollywood at the moment, except for Deadpool 3. And so Spider-Man 4 is a little bit on the, the, the back burner, uh, so to speak. He did come out, though, and say he wanted to do it. He was excited. But then he also kind of retracted and said he might be, you know, it might be time for him to hang up the, uh, the red and blue for a little while. And then he thought, and then he did mention that he would be honored to bring it, be in the movie with Miles Morales and bring in Miles Morales. And I have seen a lot of rumors and speculation floating about the internet that Miles Morales, a live action Miles Morales, could be potentially in Spider-Man 4. And with Tom Holland's comments, this actually kind of makes sense to me. First of all, the Sony-verse aside, Miles Morales could be your Spider-Man in a Spider-Verse, but let's go with the MCU-verse with Peter Parker's Spider-Man. If Tom Holland is considering taking a break, it would make a lot of sense for him to have a big part in Spider-Man 4 and then have Miles Morales kind of come in and take the reins, passing the torch as the cliche would go, and you bring in Miles Morales. And then you always have Peter Parker, Tom Holland, Spider-Man in your back pocket. You can keep going back to that well whenever you feel like you need it. If Miles Morales doesn't work in live action for whatever reason, you just go right back to Tom Holland if he's willing to come back in when you are Disney and you have that paycheck arriving at Tom Holland's doorstep. I'm sure he says yes to that. To me, this is a way that makes complete sense to bring Miles Morales in, kind of remove Peter Parker if you have to. And then even if you want, you can have both of them going side by side simultaneously. And then you can have double the Spider-Man action in the big screen. In live action, I think people would flock to it. I would because I love Spider-Man. And that's uh, all I've got to say about it. So uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I want to know what you guys think, though. Let me know in the comments below. Spider-Man 4 happening with Tom Holland. When would it even come out? And would you be open to Miles Morales taking over as Spider-Man in some capacity? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.